Well, this tiny robot is proving to be an incredible teaching tool for area doctors and nurses. Her name is Super Tori, and she's just like a real baby, medical emergencies and all. And as Dr. Malika Marshall shows us, Boston Children's Hospital is lucky enough to have her. She looks real, she feels real, she sounds real, and she's no dummy. This wireless robot is the world's most advanced neonatal patient simulator, recently called into service at Boston Children's Hospital. Super Tory resembles an eight-pound baby and can virtually recreate any neonatal medical emergency. Caitlin O'Brien is a nurse and clinical educator for the children's NICU. Within, you know, a couple of tweaks of a button, we are able to make the baby go from a very stable, healthy newborn into a baby that is in acute distress. Like one with breathing problems, cardiac arrest, jaundice, even seizures. Not only does she move her arms and legs, but she makes lots of sounds and facial expressions. Important cues since babies can't tell anyone what's wrong. Caitlin runs mock scenarios to train nurses, doctors, and other staff. In this one, Tori begins having seizures and things go downhill from there. Let's hit the button and get some help. Can we get some help in here? Perfect. Atropine going in now. Heart rate's good, so that's good. All right, I see the cords, too. We're in. She's seizing again, so why don't we make the baby um, desaturate again? The baby's vital signs and movements are controlled by a behind-the-scenes engineer who communicates remotely with Caitlin through headphones. Katie, let's um, increase the heart rate up to, like, 104. Perfect. These nurses saved the day, but even if they hadn't, it's a teachable moment, and no one gets hurt, not even the patient. Supertory costs about $40,000, and Boston Children's Hospital is one of the only hospitals in the country to have her. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News.